my apologies for that, brothers. Uh, just the bismillah was the mic check. Uh, either way, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In alhamdulillah, nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'ghfiruhu wa na'udhu billahi min shuroori anfusina wa min sayyati a'malina man yahdihi allahu fala mudillala wa man yudlil fala hadiyala <coughs> wa ashadu an la ilaha illa allah wahdahu la sharika lah wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محتثتها فكل محتثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار. Indeed, the praise belongs to Allah. He is worthy of it, owner of it, deserving of it. We praise Him, we ask His forgiveness, and we seek His assistance. We seek refuge in Allah from the evil within our own selves and from the bad consequences of our evil deeds. Indeed, brothers and sisters, whoever Allah guides, then no one can mislead that individual. And whoever Allah leaves to be astray, then no one can guide them. I bear witness, I give testimony, that there is no deity worthy of worship other than Allah. He is alone and without any partners. And I bear witness that Muhammad ibn Abdullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is his final prophet and messenger. O oh, you who have believed, be mindful, be aware, be conscious, have fear of Allah. And do not die, do not pass away unless you have surrendered your will to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. O mankind, be mindful, be aware, be conscious, have fear of your Lord who has created you from a single soul, from it, its mates, from both of them numerous men and women, and he spread them throughout the earth. And be mindful, be aware, be conscious of Allah from whom you demand your rights. Indeed, Allah is ever a watcher over you. O oh, you who have believed, be mindful, be aware, be conscious of Allah, and say that which is truth. If you do this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will rectify your affairs and forgive you of your sins. And whoever obeys Allah and His Messenger, indeed they have achieved the greatest achievement. As to what follow, brothers and sisters, indeed the most truthful book is the book of Allah. And the best way to follow and practice the book of Allah is through the guidance of Prophet Muhammad And everything that's introduced into this guidance of Prophet Muhammad is a heresy and every heresy is in a strain and every a strain brothers and sisters it will lead us to the hellfire brothers and sisters one of the attempts by the polytheists the mushriks of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu people to neutralize and diminish the status of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu was to draw attention to his basic and simple lifestyle. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala confirms this and mentions this in numerous verses throughout the entire Quran. The very human aspects of the messengers, alayhim salam, the need for nutrition, 
the need for food and drink. The messengers, alayhim as salam, they had a need for wealth to obtain the resources. These great men, brothers and sisters, the prophets and messengers, they engaged in the markets and did business, alayhim as salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, brothers and sisters, in Surah Al Yusuf, He says, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ إِلَّا رِجَالًا نُوحِي إِلَيْهِمْ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْقُرَى أَفَلَمْ يَسِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ فَيَنْظُرُوا كَيْفَ كَانَ عَاقِبَةُ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ وَلَا دَارُ الْآخِرَةِ خَيْرٌ لِلَّذِينَ اتَّقَوْا أَفَلَا تَعْقِلُونَ Allah says, and we sent not before you as messengers except men to whom we revealed from among the people of the cities. So they, so have they not traveled through the earth and observed how was the end of those before them. And the home of the hereafter is best for those who fear Allah. Then will you not reason? Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, brothers and sisters, also tells us in Surah Al-Anbiya, he says, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا قَبْلَكَ إِلَّا رِجَالٍ نُوحِي إِلَيْهِمْ فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلِ ذِكْرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ وَمَا جَعَلْنَا جَسَدًا وَمَا جَعَلْنَاهُمْ جَسَدًا إِلَّا ي... وَمَا جَعَلْنَاهُمْ جَسَدًا لَا يَأْكُلُونَ الطُعَامَ وَمَا كَانُوا خَالِدِينَ Allah tells us in these verses, brothers and sisters, and we have sent not before you, O Muhammad, except men, to whom we revealed the message. So ask the people of the message if you do not know. And we did not make the prophets forms, not eating food, nor were they immortal on earth. Brothers and sisters, the aristocracy of Quraysh, as Imam al-Tabari explains, rahimahullah, he says that the polytheists, they use this as an excuse to question Prophet Muhammad status. This is the Messenger of Allah. Is this him sitting around, eating, drinking? He doesn't even have real wealth like us. He works for us. He's in the market buying and selling, getting his hands dirty, working. Allah confirms, brothers and sisters, that not only did Prophet Muhammad engage in these activities, but all the messengers, all the messengers did. And Quraysh was aware of that. They were aware of Abraham and Ismail and Ishaq and all the messengers. They knew that these were men who drank and ate and worked. And without doubt, brothers and sisters, without doubt, Allah could have made these messengers wealthy or free of basic need. He could have chosen messengers more incredible, like the malaika. However, brothers and sisters, Allah says that we, us humans, people, mankind, they are a fitna, they are a trial, they are a tribulation for each other. They are a test for one another. And also, brothers and sisters, he mentions to us the concept of sabr when mentioning these issues. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, brothers and sisters, in another chapter, he says, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا قَبْلَكَ مِنَ الْمُرْسَلِينَ إِلَّا إِنَّهُمْ لَا يَأْكُلُونَ الطَّعَامَ وَيَمْشُونَ فِي الْأَسْوَاقِ وَجَعَلْنَا بَعْضُكُمْ لِبَعْدٍ فِتْنَةٍ أتصبرون؟ أتصبرون؟ وكان ربك بصيرا. Brothers, can we please have you squeeze in a little bit as best as you can if you can move in to accommodate the people as best as you can, make room for your brothers and sisters. So brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, and we did not send before you, O Muhammad, any of the messengers except that they ate food and walked in the markets. And we have made some of you people as trial 
for others. Will you not have patience? And ever is your Lord seeing. So brothers and sisters, the language in this particular verse is very strong, very powerful. Allah affirms and confirms and emphasizes this concept all in this verse. He uses the nafi, the negation, and al-istithna, and he also uses two different particles of confirmation. He says, brothers and sisters, that we are a test for one another, a test for our patience. And linguistically, brothers and sisters, a sabr or patience is, uh, in the language linguistically, al-habs, wal-kaf, wal-man, and the shidda, wal dhammi It is the capacity, brothers and sisters, to accept or tolerate delay or trouble or suffering without getting angry or upset. And in the language, it also includes that we're patient when it comes to obedience, a ta'a, a sabru fi ta'a. We're patient when it comes to obedience. You wear proper hijab, even though people are looking at you and staring at you and whispering towards you. Brothers and sisters, you find that empty space to make your salat, even though the people might ridicule you and look at you and wonder and maybe even try to stop you from what you're doing. Brothers and sisters, we are a test for one another. We are a trial for one another. When it comes to Allah's decree, also, we have to have patience. When it comes to disobeying, fil masiyah, it's difficult. You want to taste that food. You want to go to that place. You want to see that boy. You want to see that girl. It's not easy. Allah never said it's easy, brothers and sisters. And also, we are patient in the decree of Allah in what Allah has chosen for us, our parents, our people, our language. We are patient when it comes to these things, brothers and sisters. We are a trial and a tribulation for each other. If only I had wealth like so-and-so. If only I had a husband like sister so-and-so. If only I had a wife like brother so-and-so. If only I was intelligent, like so-and-so. If only I looked like so-and-so. If only I could hear. If only I can see, like so-and-so. Brothers and sisters, the messengers themselves, brothers and sisters, are a fitna for us. In a sense, do we believe in them? Do we accept them? Do we accept their guidance? Do we embrace it? Do we follow it? Do we practice it? Brothers and sisters, indeed, without any doubt, the life of Prophet Muhammad has removed any excuse, any excuse we have to not follow our deen. You lost your mother, he lost his mother. Maybe you have your father. Guess what? He lost his father. You lost a sibling, he had no siblings. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So brothers and sisters, these activities, these activities of eating and drinking and having these human qualities did not diminish the nobility and the status of the prophets and messengers in any way. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين من كل ذنوب إنه الغفور الرحيم فاستغفروه
Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, Wassalatu Wassalamu Ala Rasulillah. And in spite, brothers and sisters, of this being the case, there is also a bond, there is also a connection, a positive relationship between the higher levels of Muslims, the believers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, brothers and sisters, He says, إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ إِخْوَةً فَأَصْلِحُوا بَيْنَ أَخَوَيْكُمْ وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ There is also, brothers and sisters, this connection between us. He says, the believers are but brothers. So make settlement between your brothers. There's going to be fitna. There's going to be trials and tribulations between us, brothers and sisters. And fear Allah. Be mindful of Allah. Why? That way you may receive mercy. And in an authentic hadith, brothers and sisters, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, an Abi Hurayrat radiallahu anhu, he says, anna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqar, al-mu'minu mir'atu al-mu'mini, rawahu Abu Dawood. He said, the believer is the believer's mirror. The believer is the mirror, is the believer's mirror. Brothers and sisters, we have to consider this. When we want to present ourselves to the world, to our work colleagues, our schoolmates, when we want to go out in public, and it's important, unfortunately we don't pay as much attention to when we just go out in public. People come out in all types of ways, but if it's something of meaning and importance, we definitely, brothers and sisters, we take a look at the mirror. We look at the mirror. Before, brothers and sisters, we exit the car, we look at the mirror. And this hadith, it shows us the importance of our relationships, how we should deal with one another, the importance of advice. The mirror, brothers and sisters, it points out the faults. It shows you the faults. It doesn't conceal them. It doesn't hide them from you. Right? Because concealing the faults would do what? It's not going to do anything but cause harm in this life and in the next life. At the same time, brothers and sisters, the mirror does not go and expose the faults all over the place. No. Brothers and sisters, also, when we see that fault in the mirror, we respond immediately. Oh, my hair. Oh, my face. Oh, right away, my clothes is dirty. It has a stain. I'm going to go change. I'm going to take that off, put something else on. Immediately, brothers and sisters. And also, the mirror, brothers and sisters, it points out the faults in the most organic and wholesome way. There is no blaming. There is no cursing, no ridicule, no judgment. This is you. This is how you look. Go do something about it. So brothers and sisters, what do we see when we face our fellow Muslims? Do we see a believer, a support, honesty, truth? Do you see yourself, brothers and sisters? Or do we simply see a fellow countryman? Someone with a similar name. Someone, right, that just has some physical features and characteristics that we do, brothers and sisters. Also, we have to consider that our closest relatives, our wives, our husbands, our children, they are also believers. They're not just our wives. They're not just our husbands. They're not just our children. Ultimately, they belong to Allah. And no one can stop Allah from taking them back. So brothers and sisters, they are also believers. Brothers and sisters. So, ask yourself, brothers and sisters, what does your spouse see when they're looking at you? What do your children see? 
What type of mirror? What type of reflection? We say he's a spitting image. He's a spitting image of his mother, of his father. What is that image, brothers and sisters? Are we positive, sincere forces of change? Or, brothers and sisters, are we negative, harsh forces? And maybe, perhaps, brothers and sisters, you're all alone. Maybe it's just you and the mirror. Maybe people cut you off. Maybe you burned all your bridges. Maybe you're the only Muslim at the job. You're the only Muslim in the class. You're the only Muslim in the school. You're the only practicing people in your family. You're the only Muslim on the team. So brothers and sisters, hold on. Hold on to the mirror. Constantly evaluate and examine yourself, brothers and sisters. This is the idea of our relationships with one another. And what's more important than the relationships that we have with people? What brings us more pain than the pain we feel from other people, brothers and sisters? So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to rectify our affairs, to make us believers, and to make us brothers and sisters in Islam, and to make us of those that support each other. Oh Allah, may you bless the leadership of this community. May you bless the Muslims with righteous leadership. O oh Allah, may you bless and rectify the affairs of Sister Iman, the wife of Brother Bassam. May you make her affairs easy for her and for her family. Allahumma unsur al muslimina fi kulli makan. Allahumma unsur al muslimina fi kulli makan. Allahumma unsur al muslimina fi kulli makan. O oh Allah, help the Muslims wherever they may be. O oh Allah, help the Muslims wherever they may be. Allahumma ihdina lima tuhibbu wa tarda. Allahumma ifad nisa'ana wa awladana. O Allah, may you bless and preserve our spouses and our children. Allahumma irham mawtana wa mawta al-muslimin. Wa ashfi mardana wa marda al-muslimin. Allahumma ighfir lil-muslimina wal-muslimat. Wal-mu'minina wal-mu'minat. Al-ahya'i minhum wal-amwat. Allahumma man i'taza bika falan yadil. Wa man i'tada bika falan yudil. ومن استكثر بك فلن يقل هذا وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين سبحانك لهم وبحمدك وأشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت واستغفر الله وأتوب إليه وأقيم الصلاة السلام عليكم a couple of uh, important announcements uh, inshallah tonight to start the Omar Hernandez, who traveled from Dallas today to be our, with our community. He's going to be doing an evening talk here, inshallah, at ANCC after Isha. So all of you are welcome to join. Dinner will be served. And also the AMCC youth is organizing a bonfire. So after this uh, talk, inshallah, we'll go out and kids can have a lot of fun uh, uh, with the s'mores, snacks, and dinner will be provided there too. Uh, inshallah, next Friday, the youth group will be doing uh, Islamic Jeopardy after Isha. All the children and are welcome to join and parents bring them. And uh, there's some chance to win good prizes. Inshallah, on Saturday, February 8th, Sheikh Yathir Qadi will be at AMCC. He's going to be doing a fundraiser for orphans at AMCC. Also, um, I'll talk from one of his uh, famous series, Life in Barzakh. So dinner will be served. Seating is limited. Please buy your tickets ASAP. And uh, the link is on our website and newsletter. Please subscribe to the newsletter at amccenters.org. Important thing, uh, AMCC Board of Director elections for three positions will be held in two months from now. Um, I strongly encourage the active paying members of AMCC to inquire about their qualification for election and participate in it. We want you to be a part of AMCC family and take this center to the next level and take the leadership from us. Um, Proud to announce that on this past uh, Martin Luther King Day, Mayor Morgan of Longwood recognized our free clinic for their three year anniversary of the uh, clinic providing services to the poor and needy in Longwood. 
they issued the certificate of proclamation which will be sent to the community. Inshallah, try to join uh, um, us on all these events and your particip participation is important. We try to do all of that for you. Salaamu alaikum.